Uh, look, yeah, it was very special. I've been to England a few tours now, and you know, 2013, I was, it was my first tour. I was super young. It was tough work against a quality English attack too, I think. At that time, there was no reprieve for me. And then coming back again last time in 2019, I mean, that was a tough one too. For any batsman, that was tough. Unless your name was Steve Smith, you <laughs> couldn't really score a run that tour. But I guess both those first tours, um, it was tough. We lost the first one. I got dropped for both of them. So, yeah, they made it extra special yesterday. So all that context coming into your celebration then. I'll show you your 100 moments if you look at the monitor, which is a nice one for you. But then the celebration, the infamous Kawaja backdrop. Is this pre-planned or are you just lost in the moment? It's not pre-planned, honestly. <laughs> I, yeah, I think mean, Rudy asked me in the middle, I was like, did you practice that celebration? I'm like, I would never attempt mother cricket and practice the celebration <laughs> ever. Um, but I, it was just, yeah, it was emotional. I was just very excited. As, as I said, it's, um, you know, I love playing the game of cricket, but it can be one of the toughest things also. It's like a love-hate relationship. I think any cricketer will tell you that. Um, so to get out there, first innings in Ashes Test match and score runs when, when the team really needed it because um, we lost a few early wickets at the start. Yeah, it was just real emotion, if I'm being honest. Uh, how much... Uh, thought had you given to those previous tours here whether you had to change your game at all or whether there was just an acceptance that England can be a tough place to bat for a top order player it's a little bit of both um, majority of things that happen as a batsman as you would know are in the head um, it's not you know it's only a few times that it might really be technical a lot of time it's just played in your head and for me I was probably in the best spot ever coming into England um, I know this is probably going to be my last tour I've got lots of other things happening in my life, beautiful family, beautiful young family. It's very different from the other times I've been here. So I think I was going to enjoy this tour no matter what. 100% you enjoy it a lot more if you're scoring runs and winning games. But for me, it's more about I know if the team was doing well, you know, I'd be enjoying cricket. But at the same time, I'm a part of that. I've got to be scoring runs too. So... Yeah, it all kind of came together, I guess. Um, you got a, a last chance that you thought you might not get, I suppose, when Travis said went down with COVID in Sydney. You came back in that Ashes <laughs> series. And last chances can be liberating, can't they? If I show you a graphic of your figures as an opener, which are pretty much since then, this is the history of the game, the highest average for a minimum of 15 innings of openers. You're right at the top there with some pretty big names around you. Uh, last chances can be liberating. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's probably only downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> I always joke around too. I was like, Travis Head um, obviously got COVID during that time. I said, yeah, I walked around with his PCR test rubbing it all over the Melbourne Hotel um, just before that Sydney test match. So I always thank Hedy for giving me the opportunity. But honestly, I thought 44 test matches, my career was done. I was very content. I was very happy. Most people don't get to play 44 test matches. Scored 800s, been a part of Ashes winning team, lots of winning teams. I was just very grateful. So when I got the opportunity to play again, I guess for me it is every test feels like a bonus. And, you know, even without that 100 out there yesterday, I still take it with the same respect. And my wife's really good in helping me with that too. And nothing lasts forever, so I'm just enjoying the ride. Final question. I noticed you had your daughter with you at the press conference last night. It's often said that cricketers with a point to prove are dangerous. What about contented cricketers? They're dangerous too, aren't they? Yeah, I, I think content and, you know, just understanding that, you know, when you're playing the game, it feels like the be at end all, but it's really not. If you can get in a spot where you can sort of balance those two, which is the hardest thing to do in this game. If you can find that, I think that's the sweet spot personally I try to tell that to young guys I'm like you know this is a game you want to prove yourself you want to score runs but find an even ground where you're not you know wanting it too much Ricky Ponding actually said gave me the best advice when I was really young he said the harder you try the worse it gets and I think there's not no not a true word spoken so it's a very hard place to find but if you can it's a nice place to be you found that sweet spot well done cheers thank you